Hi there, it's Olga. Today I'd like to provide you some more inspiration on how you can use paper discovery products. There is a die set called um, Tech Builder Window and Pocket and it's meant to create a few different types of windows. So let's try one of them in this project. I'm going to need 5x7 white card base. Then I'm going to use two dies from Tech Builder die set. One of them is exactly 5x7 and the other one is 4x6. I've taken two 5x7 panels, one out of grey cardstock and one out of vellum. I have also used those two dies to create a white frame. Then I'm going to use this die from Card Builder panel set to create my background pattern. I've die cut this image once on a vellum panel, then I'm placing it on a panel again and die cutting it again. This pattern is fully expandable. I'm going to use this piece to create a stripy wallpaper for my scene. I'm applying some uh, double-sided adhesive only around the perimeter of uh, the grey panel and then I'm sticking down the vellum piece on top of it. I have also applied some double-sided tape at the wrong side of the frame and now I'm going to put it aside. To create the window I'll be using the largest die from Tag Builder die set plus two window dies. I'll show you how to create the window just at one pass through the machine. I'm placing my cardstock onto the cutting uh, plate, then I'm placing the largest die face down and uh, now I'm gonna put those dies together. You should do it like this, not the other way. This cutting edge in the center should be on top. If you place it behind that smaller die, you can damage the die. I'm placing another cutting plate on top, sanding it through, and this is the window that I should get. The die also creates crease lines, so now I'm using a bone folder to fold along that crease lines. The next step is creating the opening in the panel, so I'm placing my window and the frame on top of the panel to know exactly where I should place the opening. And now I'm defining the right position for it. As always, the tools and supplies that I'm using are listed down in the description box as well as on my blog. So this is what the window panel looks like at the moment. And now I'm going to apply some adhesive at the wrong side of the window and cover up the opening with it. Now let's go ahead and create the scene behind the window. These flourish dies from Leaf and Blossom die set can make great ocean waves and I'll show you exactly how to do it. I've die cut both flourishes out of white cardstock and I'm going to keep the flourish die cuts as well as the negative spaces around them. I'm trimming down the paper so that one edge of it is a curved one created by the die. Next I'm going to color those pieces using distressings. The shades I'm using are tumbled glass and broken china, but you can use any other hues that you prefer. When I'm done with the coloring, I'm going to go ahead and finish assembling the waves. I'm flipping over the colored piece and then I'm placing uh, the flourish die cuts back exactly where it belongs. I'm also using that uh, tiny cutout as you can see. Then with the pieces of washi tape I'm uh, attaching uh, the flourish to the blue wave. You only have to watch that uh, the tape is not sticking out above the wave but even if it does you can trim it down with the scissors. Then I'm going to attach one wave above the other using the foam squares or you can use the foam tape. Then I can place uh, the window panel on top to define exactly the height of the waves that I want. 
and then I'm going to apply uh, some uh, adhesive again at the wrong side of the panel and I'm sticking it down onto the waves. Because I have used the foam squares, those waves have some dimension, so I will have to use uh, the double-sided foam tape uh, to level up everything at the wrong side. I'm applying uh, the flat double-sided adhesive onto the waves, and then I can mount this panel onto my card base. I'm pressing it down gently so that adhesive is uh, gonna grab to the surface, and then I'm mounting my frame on top of the card as well. I have decided to add some splatters onto the sky area, so I'm squeezing some of the distress ink onto the acrylic block, adding some water, and then I'm using the brush to create the splatters. It would have been better to do that before attaching the panel, but it's not a big problem anyway. When all the splatters are dry, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the scene. This little circle is also a part of Card Builder die set. I'm coloring it with squeezed lemonade distressing. Then I'm adding a bit of shading around the edges with the mustard seed distress ink, just to create some variation of color and a bit more dimension. Then I'm going to attach the sun behind the window. At this point you can totally leave uh, this scene as it is, but I think I'm also going to add a couple of bird images. I always like adding birds because they create the sense of movement and they always give a bit more life to your project. To me, birds are a lot like pearls. You can always add some to your project without being afraid to overload it with details. These birds I'm using are from Bird and Branch die set, also by Paper Discovery. So this is what the finished project looks like. As you can see, you can close up the window or you can open it up completely or you can leave it half open. This card is also totally suitable for mailing in an envelope. So that was the project for today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back really soon with another tutorial and I hope to see you again. Bye bye!